Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Thursday, September 17th. Today, the Universal Church honors St. Robert Bellarmine. He was a Jesuit who was ordained in 1570, and he would become known for his intelligence and his life of holiness. St. Robert's works on theology became the foundation for the Church's continuing reforms in light of the Protestant Reformation. He would eventually be made a cardinal later on in his life by Pope Clement VIII on the grounds that, quote, he had no equal for his learning, unquote. While living in the Vatican as a cardinal, St. Robert relaxed none of his former austerities. He limited his household expenses to what was barely essential, eating only the food available to the poor. He was known to have ransom a soldier who had deserted from the army, and he used the hangings of his rooms in the Vatican to clothe poor people, remarking, quote, the walls won't catch a cold, unquote. After his canonization in 1930 by Pope Pius XI, he was named a doctor of the church because of his contributions to the faith. The gospel passage chosen by the church for today's feast comes to us from the seventh chapter of St. Matthew's gospel. It reads, Jesus said to his disciples, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? Did we not drive out demons in your name? Did we not do mighty deeds in your name? Then I will declare to them solemnly, I never knew you. Depart from me, you evildoers. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, but it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, and it collapsed and was completely ruined. When Jesus finished these words, the crowds were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as their scribes. With the horrible weather that we've had here in Iowa and the wider United States, I'm sure that this gospel passage might have brought some specific images to mind when you were listening to it. However, the imagery of the storm the winds, the flood, they speak more to how our lives are affected by what happens around us. Therefore, these images might have us asking ourselves the following questions. What is the foundation of my life? What provides me strength in the midst of the challenges and frustrations? What helps me to move through difficulties? Therefore, if our lives are truly focused on doing the will of God the Father and following Jesus Christ, we will have the graces to endure whatever may come our way. St. Robert Bellarmine and all the saints model this reality for us. Each of them demonstrate in their own unique way how they have established faith as the foundation of their lives. The challenge when we look towards the saints and also look towards our own lives, is trying to understand how we build our own foundation of faith. How do we make sure that we do the work necessary, that we have this solid foundation that is based on God's will and following Jesus Christ? So one of the challenges, again, as well, is that how do we build up this reality if it's not there? And three quick suggestions. One is personal prayer. Our personal prayer truly helps us to build a foundation of faith that helps us to rely upon Christ in the good times and also in the bad times. A second reality is, is that doing consistent acts of charity towards others helps us to imitate Jesus Christ and also helps us to focus on what we can do for others so that, again, our hearts and minds are not turning inward, but are always focused outward. And lastly, for those who 
are able, journey, journaling, writing down our thoughts and feelings after prayer can truly help us to see patterns, to see consistent themes, to help us to realize where God is present and where we need to grow. And journaling has been very helpful in my personal journey. It's helped me to build a foundation of faith. And I think for many of us, it could help as well. So prayer, service, journaling, all of these three things, or maybe one right now, could be a way through which you build up your foundation of faith so that you can endure whatever comes your way. As we continue to move through our lives, let us pray that we will move more and more towards Jesus Christ, the source of our strength, our peace, and our hope. St. Robert Bellarmine and Our Lady of Victory, pray for us.